Hello, it's Jeff Harrison here. Today we're going to discuss the paint on mask mode in Corel Photo Paint. What I'm going to do is we're going to create a complex mask based on the, the blue area in the background of this image. So I'm going to go through a few interesting things here in Photo Paint uh, to show you that effect. First thing you're going to want to do is select that area. And I usually just press the W key to bring up the magic wand tool. Now you can set your tolerance to various numbers. I've got it set to 4 here for the moment. And I'm going to left click on one part of the blue. You can see that I didn't get all of the blue in that selection. So what you can do is uh, I have this uh, customized in my workspace to have the mask outline icon there. But uh, I believe you can also go to the mask menu and then go to mask outline and then choose similar. I do this quite often and so that's why I've assigned a shortcut key to launch that function. And what that does is it looks for all shades of blue uh, that are similar to the original selection that I had there. Now to enter paint on mask mode, uh, you can go to the mask menu, I go down to paint on mask, there is a default shortcut of control K to enter and also exit that mode. We'll get into that later, but control K, that's the fastest way to get into it. Now that we're in this mode, what we're looking at is a grayscale representation of our mask you can see that we have either black or white at this point. And one of the interesting things you can do here in Photo Paint is um, create a very complex mask by painting on the mask or applying effects and tools to this uh, representation of the current mask. So what we can do here is I'm going to press the G key to bring up my interactive fill bucket or fill tool. I'm just going to drag across the image like that. And we can see that it's covered up the whole mask. Uh, and that's not exactly what I want to do. If this is a handy way to create a gradient mask if you ever need to do that for corrective reasons. But I'm going to go, I'm going to press Control Z, go back into to paint on mask mode. And what I want to do is fill the white area with that gradient. So how do we do that? We need to go to um, the mask menu, go to load, current mask. So what we're kind of doing here is loading a mask within a mask. <laughs> it sounds a bit confusing, but you can see that it's Basically, we're in, in the mask channel there, but we've also loaded that mask inside itself to, to define that white area. Now, why that's useful is that when I drag that fill bucket across there now, you can see that it, it constrained that fill to that previously white area. So I'm going to left click on my object pick tool there. And now what we're going to do is apply some uh, effects to that gradient. And in this mode, you can do anything you want. You can erase, paint, use the effects tools, or use a, an effects filter. I'm going to go ahead and choose a creative, uh, actually a distortion filter. I'm going to choose blocks. And we can see it's it's kind of blockified, you know, the, that area in there. I'm going to say I'm happy with that. And I'm going to do one more function to this. I'm going to go to the effects menu and go to blur and choose Gaussian Blur. And we can see it's kind of softened up the edges of those blocks that we had there. So I'm happy with that. All right, so to get out of paint on mask mode, simply press Control K. And now we're back in this view. Now, it may, not, it may, it may look like our variable transparency isn't available, but it, it's still there. It can, you can see it down in the thumbnail in the mask channel there. Um, so it, it really is there, and as we uh, run other processing, you'll see what the effect is. For example, if I go to the Adjust menu and choose Hue, Saturation, Lightness, I'm just going to move this out of the way so we can see what's happening here. If we change the hue of this fairly dramatically, you can see that uh, it truly is only affecting a variable portion of the original flattened background image. We're working on a, just a background flattened image here at the moment, by the way. So we can brighten that up. We can do things like this. I'm going to press OK. Uh, we still have a mask available. Uh, we don't really need that anymore. So you can just hit Control R to get rid of that. And so that shows you um, how you can simply um, you know, make some complex masks and uh, get some interesting effects by applying um, effect filters to a mask. Now, Before I go, I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm just going to hit Control A to select Make a Mask on the whole document. Control K brings us into Paint on Mask menu. I press the G key to uh, fill. I'm just going to drag from top, top to bottom so I have like a gradient 
uh, fill from top to bottom. Now what's happening here is anything that's white will be fully affected and black will not be affected. In fact, I'm going to flip this uh, gradient around so it goes the other way. So the top part of the image, if I apply some processing to it at this point, it'll affect the top half, basically, and, and uh, correspondingly downwards. So Control k leaves paint on mask mode. I'm going to hit yes there. And again, we, it doesn't look like um, we have that variable transparency, but I can see in my thumbnail that we, we will. And uh, most importantly, if I hit something like brightness, contrast, intensity, or whatever, you can see what's happening here. You can see how it's uh, affecting the top part more than the bottom part. And this would, might be more attractive if we ran it on something like... Um, let's see here. If we change the hue dramatically, you can see what's going on. It's a, uh, doing that to the top half uh, of the image. And you can apply other effects as well to that, like, you know, if you wanted to... You can see how it's really distorting the top part and going down to nothing at the bottom. And another favorite command of mine is Fade Last Command. I've assigned Alt F to it. I, and it's, I think it's in the Edit menu. But that just gives you excellent control for fading your last thing that you did. Just so you can, uh, you know, fade it in and have a bit more control. Control R will, will remove your mask. And, I don't know, just as playing around there to show you some of the power of photo paint. Hope you enjoyed it.